Hello everybody. I'm just getting my ducks in a row. Don't you mind me. Where, why isn't the game coming up? <laughs> Come on, champion. How's it going, everybody? It's good to see you all. It is good to see you all. Avocado, Joseph, Ambrose, James, Finn, Z-Boss, Ali, Kenzie, Josh, Acorn, my friends, Jason. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here to play some games and, you know, we're going to do something very special this stream. And by very special, I mean not that special, but we're going to... Uh, a couple of games in, we're going to open my mail. Whoa, opening mail. What could it be? What could it be? It could be anything. It could be anything. Ooh. Ooh. Could be anything. Could be anything. Ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Is it wrong to eat? Uh, broccoli? I don't know. That fits. But no, it's very good for you, mate. Basically the best thing you can eat. You bet it's a pool floaty, Ambrose. Kenzie, I'm well. I am well. Sarah, my favorite color, green. Because it's the color of money. Not really. Watch Silver Tom open his bills. Let's play Tom... <laughs> Paying bills with Tom. It's Brocco... Oh. Oh, I, um... The one thing I said was it's the right number of letters and it uh, wasn't. <laughs> And I spelt it wrong anyway, because that's not meant to be an I. Anyway. Chat, you're hungry. You see something in the kitchen. And you're wondering, is it okay? Can I? Oh, animals. It's animals, yeah. <laughs> I can stop. Ooh, crapping on about nonsense. The window doesn't fit the screen. Oh, yeah, good point. I haven't actually... Normalize that. Let's go that. A little bit smaller. I should save this profile. A little bit smaller. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, two. Yeah. About that. Is that. No. What? Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Alright, champion. <laughs> let's, let's do the feud. Ah. Uh, lithium. Is it wrong to eat lithium, Finn? Uh, I, I'm not a chemist or a biologist or a nutritionist or a dietitian, but if you're eating pure lithium, you're not going to have a good time. That's my call. Chocolate flavored. Chat, you're hungry. You want some chocolate. You just ate all your lithium and animals and misspelled broccoli. And you want some chocolate flavored peanuts, surely. Not peanuts, nuts. No! Strawberries, ants. Oh, I... See, I was thinking peanuts or nuts, but that would be chocolate coated, wouldn't it? Chocolate flavoured chocolate. Hmm. Mm. Ice cream? You wouldn't say chocolate flavoured ice cream, though, would you? You'd just say... Same with milk. You'd just say chocolate milk, wouldn't you? Chocolate flavoured Coke? I don't know why Ambrose wants to eat chocolate flavoured ants. I mean, apparently they're good for you. Good source of protein. Good for the environment. Coffee. Matthew coming in with an actual reasonable answer. Well done, Matthew. He doesn't speak much, but when he does, he's just sick of everyone else giving nonsense answers. Tom included. Toothpaste? That sounds disgusting, Ken uh, Kenzie. Don't just mint. Stick with mint, mate. Zevos, good to have you here. Pizza? Tom, what are you talking about? <laughs> Tea? Children, Ryan. Don't eat kids. Bread? I'm so confused. Alright, I'm going with Sarah's orange. No. Cake? You'd just call it chocolate cake, wouldn't you? Chocolate flavoured gum, I can believe. Yes, nice, Kenzie. Vitamins. Am I, am I like, this is meant to be 60 frames, but you see me moving and I'm a little bit like, duh, 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 duh. I don't know why I, why I'm dropping frames. 
not dropping frames of the stream, but I'm dropping frames of the camera. Which I don't know why that happens. Anyway. Marshmallows, milk. Let's go milk. I think most people call it chocolate milk, but maybe. Dang it! Cigars? <laughs> Tastes like cocoa. Weird. Toothpaste, you condoms, mate. Don't. Alcohol, cigarette. This is way more adult than I thought. <laughs> Vodka, whiskey, wine. Everything is. Wow. All right, mate. Jesus Christ. I thought this would be children googling this stuff, but okay. You do you, champions. <laughs> you do you. Jesus Christ. Let's play Connections. Glue stick, cut words, rod copy plus list, paste, color, text, clarity, okay writing. Carrot hit here. Alright, I'm gonna have a crack at this first. I see cut, I see copy, I see paste. Control X, Control C, Control V. I don't see another one that's actually a basic Windows function. So maybe that's a red herring. I'm not looking at you, chat. Not looking at you. Clarity. Don't understand. Clarity, color, how you describe a gem. The cut. Yeah, 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 the carrot. Diamond qualities. Boom. Words, text, a list, writing. No, one away. Thought it just might be, you know, paragraph. Glue stick, glue rod, glue glue. <laughs> Adhere, stick, paste, and glue. You're just attaching things. Sticky, sticky. And did I have any of those in my paragraph ones? I don't think I did. I had those. So what have we got left? Okay, copy, rod, and plus. Hot rod. Hot okay. No. Plus size, rod size, okay size. Text. Hmm. A writing and a copy. Like, you got a script. Maybe words is not with that one. I like this. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, chat. I need your help. I need your help. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm confused. A. A list. A okay. A rod, A plus. Well done, uh, Kenzie, finding that one. That's a good spot. And then list is the one that was the odd one out with the green published lines. Nice job, chat. Well done. Rodney, I see wise man, Steph. Hello, my friends. Good to see you here. A rod is Ale Axel Rodriguez, baseball legend. Oh, that's interesting, Finn. I think uh, when I hear A rod, I think. Um, What's his name? Andy Roddick, the tennis player. They used to call him A-Rod. Isabella, good to see you. It has been a minute. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks, but good to have you here. Hope you're well. You've got, like, a membership against your blue. I don't even think, think I've seen that before. You must be the longest member, Isabella. But good to have you here. Hope you've been well. Hope you've been curing... Um. HIV? Is that that's what you do? <laughs> oh, one year. There you go. There you go. The unique blue Tom. Oh, Isabella. I appreciate the love. Good to see you, champion. All right. Let's go to Connexo. Connections. Disappointing brother. You've been all right. Very busy. Well... Life gets that way. It definitely gets that way. Steph, you subbed. 
You have to be sub to chat, mate. That's how that's how it works. Shoe Poets, Booth Drop, Grocery Launch, Filmmakers Thrift, Album Department, Op Painters, Introduce Release, Musician Synthesis. Uh, so if you release, like, a song, it would be a release, a launch, a drop, maybe an album. I'm gonna try album. No. Dang. Thrift shop, op shop, grocery store, department store? You kidding me, champions? I need your help. Photo something, Kenzie. Photo drop. Photo booth, good thinking. Photo op, good thinking. Photo launch. Photo launch? Is that a thing? Photo album, maybe. What's an op shop? Maybe that's an Australian term, but an op shop... It's short for opportunity, but it essentially means the same as a thrift store. Basically one of those charity shops where you uh, buy secondhand stuff and it's cheap. Shoe, grocery, department and thrift. Oh wow, Op did not go with thrift. That is a bit of a red herring for me. Yeah, maybe that's not an Americanism. Think chlorophyll, Tom? Only when I go on a date. <laughs> That's not a very nice joke. Okay. Creatives. Painters, filmmakers, musicians, poets. Yeah, that's easy. Come on. Launch, introduce, release, and drop. Nice. Yeah. I did... What did I do? I did album instead of introduce to make available. Booth, album, op. Film, booth, film. Photo booth, photo album, photo op. Photosynthesis. Ah! Photosynthesis. That was the, the one that we struggled with. Einstein has won Nobel Prize in physics, and wouldn't you know it, he got it for photosynthesis. Nothing about this relativity equals EMT squared stuff. Ah, uh, you got that one as well, Icy. Well done, matey. Well done. All right, while we're here, we might as well play Contexto. Hey, Pat. Good to see you. We got a lot of the uh, the old gang here, which is good to see. Pat and Iz and Finn and Ambrose and everyone. Good to have you all here, champions. All right, let us start with photo. Oh, transparency sending me 35 czars. I don't know what a czar is, but I'm hoping they're worth about a thousand Australian dollars each. <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, the donation. It's very kind of you. Hopefully enough to buy me a coffee. Thank you so much. Oh, Rhonda's here as well. Speaking of the old guard. Good to see you, Rhonda. Pat just joined as well. Hmm, okay, photo, donation. And Matthew's probably here, sitting in the background as well. Uh, Zazer? I don't know. Can someone explain to me? It's $2.85 Australian. That's almost enough for a coffee. Not bad. Yeah, Matthew's got the thumbs up. A man of few words. Land. Uh, Finn. I'm just typing out what I see in chat. A clerk, whatever that is. A car and men. Ooh, man's not bad. Woman, child, labor, work, office, home, house, neighbor, house, room, uh, city, star. Woman, weak, currency. I appreciate the donation, transparency. It's very kind of you to drop a few dollars. Group, people, hotel. I will say, chat, don't donate any money that you that you need. Um, I'm doing fine for money. 
but I do appreciate the love. Comrade, yard, place, office, ooh, place. Uh, what's your favorite place, chat? Daily, motel. Bed? Yeah, I love bed as well, kind of. Units of measurement are acceptable words, including monetary units, even when named after capitalized entities such as their... I missed some context, matey. Apartment. Family. Company. Kitchen. Site is a good thought. Hotel. No, we did motel. Hey, Sparky, how's it going? School, there's a place. Kitchen. What about, like, restaurant? Here we go. Cave. Uh, maybe it's a meal. There we go. Lunch, dinner. So many of these contextos are just, like, food or meals. Breakfast. Uh, eggs. What's your favourite? Lunchtime. Food, chat. Sandwich. It's a sandwich. I love a sandwich. Sarah, not so big on sandwiches. I love a sandwich. I like to eat my meals in reverse order, chat. So, like... I like to eat dinner food for breakfast, and I like to eat breakfast food for dinner. I'm a bit weird that way. Contexto is in the pocket of big food. Big food taking over everything. You love a good sandwich. Nothing better than a good sandwich. We got a really good sandwich place near me, but I don't eat lunch much these days. Um, trying to lose a little bit of weight. Do I also start with dessert? I do love a good dessert. And yeah, sometimes the first thing I'll eat is just chocolate. <laughs> it's not very good, Josh, I'll tell you, man. It's not good. You're not a bread person? Oh, that's all right, Tom. Sometimes I'm wrong too. Can I do mass genocide explain for kids? Maybe. I'm not sure how I'd make that work. I might be able to make that work. I need a good analogy for how you how you could associate the murder of a race of people to children. <laughs> it's a bit tricky. Uh, Jersey milk is good. Yeah, I had some Jersey milk the other day, unpasteurized, and it was like so thick and creamy. It got my motor running. Kenzie, you don't eat sandwiches because you're vegetarian? There's a lot of... You can get a vegetarian sandwich, like roast veggies or salad and such. If you eat cheese, that makes it a little bit easier, but if you're totally vegan, then it's harder. Connie, coming in asking with a spanogram. Good to see you. Speaking of old guard. Speaking of... Uh, sub a thousand... Sub spanogram. Oh, you mean the strands is what you're after, I think. Ant colony extinction. Yeah, that's the way I was thinking, Tom. But, yeah, let me write that down. I don't know if I can make it work. I'm actually going to do some easier content on that channel. Uh, where I sort of just describe real world events. Because... I'll tell you, writing these scripts where I come up with this complex adult topic and then I have to write a script that's an analogy that children will understand but is also obvious enough what the analogy is and then I need to get that down to a minute and then I need to make it both entertaining and funny is so difficult. But I might do some just like real world stories instead. Get to work. Uh, I see music. We might try that. Yeah, that's one of them. Jersey Mike's makes false promises due to a measurement mix-up. They say their meat is two centimeters thick, but they're only two millimeters. That's an order of magnitude, mate. That is massive. What's my favorite cheese, Connie? Uh, I like goat's cheese, and I like just like the super pungent and flavorful one. So I'd say like a uh, blue cheese made out of goat's milk with a lot of a lot of that mold in there. You know, blow your head off style cheese.
I should do vlogs, Rodney. I don't really know how to make them. Like, maybe one day. But I've got so much content I want to do. Um, it's hard to sort of justify going off in another direction. You see weather, bottom right. Nice. Good eye, Ambrose. Oh, transparency. Another 25 Zar. Thank you so much, mate. That's very, very generous. That has definitely uh, afforded me my coffee. I've already had it, but it affords me tomorrow's coffee. Transparency? Is that in this game, or...? Cash money? Cha-ching, cha-ching. Is transparency in here? What am I missing? I can't see it. Danish blue Castello with Swedish gingerbread. That sounds pretty dang good to me, Finn. What does the theme get to work? I assume it's... Actually, I don't know. Music and weather. What does that mean? Like things you might... Your daily commute, maybe. Like, things that you'd listen to on your daily commute. You'd listen to the, the radio. See, I think I could... I was thinking daily commute because I saw Dale there, but I don't see the rest of it. We're going to do a uh, mail opening after this champion, so get excited. Traffic top right. Nice eye, Matt. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with the commute, doesn't it? Where is commute? Comedy? Tri is trivia here? Is that what that this eyes V's doing? No. Tar? Mm, not quite, mate. Well done, Matthew and Josh, my friends. Troop? I don't... Well, we can't do troop anymore. I don't really understand how that might work with these other ones. Like, what's traffic? Music, comedy? I mean, they I guess these are all related to, like, YouTubing. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I'm a bit confused. Will I marry you, Lemon? Ah, uh, unfortunately, my heart is for another. Mail opening, that's new. I just got to open my mail, and I thought, I might as well do it on stream. Drive time. Oh, yeah. It is drive time. Well done, uh, Kenzie. Avocado. Ambrose. Oh, everyone's figured it out. Nice. Not... Spell it right, Tom, you dingbat. Drive time. There you go. Uh, talk. Like, talk back radio. And we got two left hidden in here. News. Yeah, that's definitely one of them. And sports. Well done, chat. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff, champions. Kenzie got it first. Well done, Kenzie. Okay, I need to make sure not to dock myself. But we're doing mail opening. Yay! Do some of the hearts in chat. I'm going to do some. 100. Yeah! Hearts. Yeah! Mail. What could it be? It could be anything. The mystery box. Ooh. Is it coffee? Because uh, I've done coffee on stream before. From Temu? Yes, Connie. From Temu. Good. Good. I, I, I can't actually remember what I bought. Chat! <laughs> I knew I've, there's a few things in here, but I can't remember what it is, so I'm hoping none of it's like bad. Oh, it's a new t shirt. You want me to try on the new t shirt, chat? I think this is a t shirt. You want? It's just a t shirt. I need a new, like, source of t shirts, so I'm trying Temu t shirts. Yes, try it on. Alright, Chad, if you ask for it, I'm gonna do it off camera. <laughs> One second. I'm putting it on, Chad, don't you worry. Ta da! Looks like. 
every other t-shirt I wear on stream. It's not, it's not bad. I have a real problem finding the right fit for t-shirts. Um, and this one's, this is okay. The back isn't quite right. I'm very particular. It's just black, yeah. I, uh, you'll notice I just wear basically non-branded t-shirts. See this one? This is the one I was just wearing. This is about 10 years old from Vietnam. It's super soft still. I know you can't tell, but it's like stretchy. And it's so nice to wear. And I bought about five of them in Vietnam and I've never been able to find these again. It's like, dang, I wish I could find these somewhere. I don't even know what they're made of, but it's still like so soft and nice. Uh, Alright, I do have some... Actually, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna play a game and then we're gonna open something else in the mail and then play a game and open something else in the mail. We're gonna go one way or the other. This is alright. Temu isn't really that bad, only the three guesses are 100% scam. Uh, the reason I'm using it is because they're pu pumping so much money in the marketing that everything is super, super cheap at the minute. <laughs> How much mail do I have? There's a few things in there. Did you miss Pedantle? Let's play Pedantle is! Uh, I saw a lot of people got this super quick in the Discord. Have I got this on? I've got this on the wrong way. Um, the something, something. What do the brackets mean? Let's try America. What is the shirt material? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure, I think it might ha be like cotton and spandex, I'd say. Just soft and stretchy. So nice to wear. This one isn't quite as nice. It's not bad. It's soft and a little bit stretchy, but it's not quite the same. Queen. Slay queen. Cooking. <laughs> Food. Lemon, what's your announcement, mate? You don't have to tell people you have an announcement. You just, you just say, mate. <laughs> Finn, you wear Walmart t-shirts. High-vis colors because you're an avid out athlete. You go bike to a bike ride once a year. Uh, once a year, I wouldn't really exactly call you an avid athlete. But, yeah. Try cheese. Mm. Try ten. Freedom! The sport. A. In something. Physics. This seven, I bet it's physics. It's like physics. Chemistry is eight, isn't it? Hmm. Science. Dang, come on. Yeah, Josh, Finn, you're thinking the same way, Jason. In uh, math, English. Hmm. Biology. Nice. Here we go. Are we an organ? Or, what's your favorite eight letter organ? Spleen, no. Muscle is seven, isn't it? No, six. Heart, blood, function, brain, bones. Skeleton. Ooh, good thinking. Mitosis, why not? Intestine. Uh, I think, is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang. But good thinking. Not close. Life. Hmm. Appendix. The most unnecessary thing ever. Can I say guy it? Just did, mate. Cell. Big, small, animal. Wow, no, no oranges yet. What else is in biology? Experiment. Stomach, that's a good thought. Water. Biology. Plant. Dang, come on. Organism. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, cellular, cells, talking about organisms, uh, evolution, 
water. Yeah, that's important in biology. Micro. Can you be a mod lemon? Mm, you gotta turn up a bit more, matey. It's not easy to become a mod. What Finland say? What did Finland say? Appendix was a good guess. What word can mean one thing in biology and something else in another context? Yeah, that is a good point. That's why we got the brackets. Because this word has a biological meaning and an alternative. Taxonomy. That's a good word. Oh, it is taxonomy. Dang it, Josh. That is... Whoa, that is a good find. How did everyone get that so quick in the des Discord? Taxonomy. I would have struggled doing that by myself, champions. Evolutionary biology taxonomy. There you go. Old Chuck Dazza and his pictures of birds and such. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Well done, matey. To reward you, we're opening up another thing in our mail. What even is this? Oh, background cloth. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm hoping this works. It's green! Uh, the purpose of this chat... Oh, it's come with, like, hangers as well. The purpose of this is because I film a lot of my, um... Let me show you. I film a lot of this nonsense, yeah? But the problem is, it doesn't go down to my feet. Which you'd think wouldn't be a problem, but I like to put my full self in some shots. And not having my feet in it makes it so much harder. So I'm hoping I can just like clip this to the bottom and then stand on it. And then I'll have a fully keyed version of myself out. And that's just gonna... That'll make my life so much easier. The colour's not quite right though. Hopefully not an issue. Hopefully it's manageable. I can just do double keying. But there you go. That one's for you, Josh. You get the green. Yeah, they are slightly different. It's hard to tell when you're buying things online is, but hopefully not too much of an issue. Hopefully not too much of an issue. Just be like, Rob Liefeld and deny the existence of feet. Do not get that reference, Ambrose, but I'll trust it was a good one. Do I have a gambling addiction? I used to play a lot of poker, but I can't remember the last time I would have placed a bet on anything. Yeah, a long time ago, mate. We just got a letter, we just got a letter, I wonder who it's from. That's a reference, the cool guy. That's a Blue's Clues reference. <laughs> Dang! Mate, you must be as old as I am to know that one. Ah. Uh... That's going to make an interesting chroma key. Yeah, it's all right. It shouldn't be too bad, Josh. Um, I try to just avoid wearing any greens uh, when I do the thing, so I can be pretty aggressive with the green, with the keying. Uh, all right, champions. Let's move on to another game. Uh, <laughs> what are we going to play? Will I ever do more brackets? We are overdue a bracket. I never finished my last bracket, which was accents. Maybe we'll pick that up again at some... At one point. Do the one Google worst thing. Google Wordle thing. Oh, we already did that, mate. Let's do Dowsel, champions. Let's do Dowsel. That'll be fun. This is like Conexo or Symantle, except... You also get... Letter clues. Samuel Johnson. Is he... Who's that? Sounds... Is he... Like, from a long time ago? Because if so, we can use olden words. Or computer's probably not going to be close. Ooh, word not bad on... Oh, here we go! I got word on spelling, so I've gone sword and meaning. And we are a weapon! That's your cousin, Sam Johnson. Makes sense. Adds up. I'm pretty sure you're the only two Johnsons to ever exist. I've never never heard of that last name before, mate. He compiled a dictionary in uh, the 18th century. Well, let me tell you, Ambrose, what is mightier than the sword? This thing, matey. 
Dang, come on. Swords, hate this one weird trick. Uh, the pen is mightier than the sword. I mean, if you were in an underground arena fighting for your death, fi fighting for your life, I'd probably choose the sword. Just me, chat. Light. Weapon. Ooh, light's not bad. Beam. Sword gun. Knife. Knife. Oh, here we go. Oven? Just weapon. Bomb? Rifle? What's your favorite way to murder, chap? Saber. <laughs> Sharp? That is a good word. Uh, syringe. Knife. Cut. Knife. Saw. Dang. Schmitter. Don't see too many Schmitters any these days. Guillotine. French love those. Slice. Burn. Ooh. Fire. Fire's a little bit better. What about a little bit of casual arson? Blow black back. War. Hmm. Fire. Cook. Fire. Heat. Fire. Bomb. Torch. Yeah. Oh, well done, Kenzie. Wow. Torch. There you go. Great get. We had fire and knife. A torch is just like a fire knife, chat. Or like a modern torch isn't. But the old style. It's like a fire knife. Well done, Kenzie. Good stuff. Good stuff. It is dangerous for mortal beauty or terrestrial virtual. To be examined by too strong a light. The torch of truth shows much that we cannot. And all that we would not see. Josh's cousin. Bring in the quotes. Alright, next thing. What could possibly be next? Oh, here we go. Another green thing, Jeff. Uh, so some of you might remember. Over there, I've been trying to do pull-ups trying to and I got some resistance bands and they were uh, not good enough so this is a really thick resistance band to help me out and hopefully with this thing I'll finally be able to do a gush darn pull up chin ups easy pull ups very very difficult for me no lats learn that I'm like a stick chat I'm like a stick anyway that's the next thing smells quite funky We'll throw that down and play another game. Thick indeed, Isabella. Thick indeed. How often do I have a live stream? Uh, twice a week. Yeah. So it's like this day and then the same day, two days before, same. And they match my green screen? Yeah, well, maybe I can use that to hold down my bit of cloth or something. Could work. Since I have a green screen, change my background like a mountain view. I could. I've done that before, Tom, but... Yeah, can't be bothered at the moment. It's a little bit of work to get that working. Uh, all right, chat. Let's play. The let's do the mini. Let's do the mini. Get out of here! Hey, I'm trying to be in here by myself. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe scram. Japanese poem with seventeen syllables. A haiku. Who has left the building? Elvis left the building. Smartphone notification. Uh, what do you call those? Alert? Maybe? Let's try that. And then don't go. Stop. Dang! Oh, almost in one. Calls rivet. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Referee's decision calls. Completely captive rivet. Akira Kurosawa, that's got to be right. And what's this? Like a basement that needs to be aired out. Musty. Oh, stop strong. Akira, stay. There we go. Oh, we still got in under a minute. That's pretty dang good. That is pretty good. Well done, me. 
and shea butter, a lotion ingredient. Ooh. Tom rubs himself with shea butter stream and puts on new shirt. Oh yeah. All right, chat. Next, next, next in our little bag of treats. I do not know what this is. <laughs> What did I buy? What did I buy? What did I buy? Oh, this is a tool for my coffee, actually. This is, this is cool, chat. Check this out. Also a torture device, if used right. But essentially it's a, like a distributor. So I put it on the coffee and it helps get rid of all the little, uh, the little bumps. Spin, spin, spin. Feels cheap, but, you know, doesn't have to do much. It's a pretty simple dang thing, isn't it? Very cool. I'm looking forward to using that in my coffee that I make tomorrow. Already had my coffee today. All right, let's see the plus word, and then we're going to open some more stuff. Can I play the password game? Uh, we've beaten that one already, cool guy. Over, it took about four streams. Uh, I don't think I even named the streams right, so it's probably hard to find, but that was good fun. I wish we could find more stuff like that. Prop from Gandalf will probably be a staff. Like music with harmony, not L-A. Latin? Talon? Alton? Not sure. First name of author E.L. James. I rake... Anagram. Well, it starts with E. E U rake? That's probably... Erica? Erica's probably right. Yeah. Never, don't know her, but that's probably right. Friends or beats at tre chess? Mates? Mates. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marine menace. Not sure. Storks are stems. Sacred Jewish scroll is the Torah. Something erotic. Founder of the body shop. Not sure. Pretender. Freak. Faker. Firmus is a flask. Here we go. Uh, T A O. Oh, tonal. Oh, that's easy. Must be Anita and Shark. S K. No, Snark. Sneak. Smock. Smock? Shock. Smock. No. Shock. Stock. Dang. Smock. Shock. Stock, slock, don't work. Chat, what is this word? I'm, look, I'm getting your help now. Am I excited for TTPD? No idea what that is, Swifty. Play the world's hardest game. Uh, I'll spool. No, we got a K. We got a K. School spelt the cool way. That's uh, skook. Spook. Spook? Ah, oh, spook. Spooky. Spooky. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Alright, chat. Next. Next thing in a big bag of nonsense. Oh, yeah, this is exciting. Gram Jam? We'll do that next. Good idea, Rhonda. Check it out, chat. Wait, let me, let me go off screen first, chat. Let me go off screen before I do this. It's worth it. We're back. I just uh, got the shaver out, chat. Let me check myself out on screen. Is this believable? <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is meant to be a bold cap. I knew I shouldn't have gotten the cheapest one. This is awful. This is... Why is it transparent? Why is it transparent? It looks like I'm wearing a dinger on my head. If you don't know what that word means, then don't look it up. But... <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's rubbish. That is rubbish. And Temu, you know? Chat, Temu. Wrong colour. Yep. Wrong colour, see-through. I think that cost me about $2.80, so we're not out a lot of money on that. But that is a Barry Crocker. What an absolute shocker. Gosh darn it, chat. Ah, that was horrifying. I, 
I put it on and I thought, yeah, Chad will be impressed with this. And then I looked at myself afterwards and it was just awful. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Let's play this one and then we'll do another unwrap. I see Cotton Salsa's Hollowed. And that's about it. And Finn sees Salsa's, Isabella sees Cotton, Ambrose sees Hollow. Why not just go bold and get rid of this beautiful thick head of hair? Maybe. I have shaved my head for charity before. Uh, which of these do we like the most? Hollow, we get rid of the... W and H. I can't actually do both Cotton and Hollow because we only have... One... O spare. Is hallow a word? Hallow. Let's do hallow. And then we can both do... Then we can do cotton as well. Hallowed... I am. Old equals freedom. Hallowed be thy name. Indeed. Uh... I guess we'll do salsas. This is gonna get weird with the 3 by 6 Okay. Could do mix. Maybe we should do another one across and just really mix it up. Uh, I don't think you can spell skimmed with one M, can you? No. Skidded. I'm going for it, chat. This is not going to go well, but I'm going for it. Oh, you can't spell skidded with one either. Skinned. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Well, that was a waste. We could do sl spy No, smiced? Shiced. Not how you spell that. I realise. What about smited? Smited. Smine. Smiced. Ham gets sided. Alright, that's a good idea. Can we do hacks? I'm uh, guessing it doesn't know hacks. Uh, we'll do ham. Put the K there. Yeah. Good eye, Josh. And now what's gonna happen? Hmm. Maybe we do. What have we got? Only three vowels. This is not looking good. Is shined in the dis dictionary? It must be. Really? Dang. You know, I know shine is already past tense, but what if it's really past tense? Replace E with N. We can do X, but... If I do X... Oh, let's just do it. We're doomed, indeed. Oh, and hey! Oh, no. Oh, is that... Is, ah. No, two stars. That's why you don't try to go one way, chat. You gotta mix it up. That's a lesson we should have learned by now. But, you know me. Slow to learn, chat. Slow to learn. The good news is we can still open more junk. Octopus fan holder. Oh, yeah. Needs to be charged, but check out these octopus legs. You can, like, just wrap it around things. How much did I order? A lot. Oh, it is going. There you go. Uh, I ordered a lot. The thing is, with Temu, you've got to, at least for Australians, I think it's minimum $35 for an order. So all of this stuff was probably, like, $50 total. Um, but yeah, so the reason I've got this chat is because I have a, um, I already have a fan which I use for the camera, but it sort of isn't attached properly and it's using like an old USB cord and doesn't hold up very well. So this one with its octopus thing is going to be way better than the one I got. 
So, there we go. Was it late at night? Uh, it wasn't all done in one go. I basically just keep adding stuff to the cart. And then when I sort of hit the limit so I can order stuff, then I go. Um, or, I have a set of videos I need to film. So, I sort of write out all the scripts. I do all the scenes. And then I put, like, props that I don't have that I need against them. And then do a big, big purchase. You only have $10 USD minimum for free shipping. Jeez, that's a, that's a lot easier than the 35 we got. This is pretty good though. You can tell this is a nice bit of kit. Uses USB-C as well. The other one uses like USB. Micro USB. Disgusting chat. Disgusting. Alright, any requests? We could do the uh, word chase. Let's do the word chase. Am I playing any more games? Yes, I am. Heat! It's heating up, chat. The sun. Vacation. Oh, it's beach. Boom. <laughs> the next clue is beach. Heat, vacation, beach. Oven. Not many vacations have an oven, mate. Mapping. Hope you're well. Do I eat crayons, Cohen? Does it look like I eat crayons? Sand. Summer! Summer's a good word. Yeah. Nice. Well done, Ambrose. Some other good options there, like tan and island, but summer was right in there. Ice cream and umbrella. Uh, Alright, let's do some user-created games. Did we do 51 to 55 last time, I think? I can't remember. Isabella, good to see you. Thanks for joining. See you again soon. Uh, da, da, da. I think we did 51 to 55 last time. So let's do 56, 57, 58. What's the game we ask the AI questions and try to guess what they're talking about? Uh, Gestel. War. Peace. Border. Colonialism. Arms, tank, grenade, soldier. Okay, there we go. There we go. You saw Donna Summer live in the 1990s. Well, that's a very loose connection to the word summer in the game, but that's cool. That is cool. Faith, uh, God, love, Jesus. Waiting. Chat, please help. Faith, love, and waiting. Prayer? Heaven. Oh, that seems good. No. Expectation. Religion? Expectation. Expectation. Proposal? Hope? Hope? Is it going to be abstinence? <laughs> there is a lot of waiting, mate. I mean, <laughs> and people who abstain are usually people of faith. And they do have expectations. I mean, it. it I'm going to try it. It's almost too good of an answer. Dang, it is too good of an answer. Optimism, it still works. Pregnancy, faith, optimism, marriage, proposal. Yeah, I don't know about faith. That's the. These are all good answers, but the word faith is really throwing me off. Hope. Let's try hope. Hope is a synonym for optimism. Yeah, well done, Finn. Well deciphered, mate. Well deciphered. Well done. All right. Uh, last user game. Judge. Uh, a court. Thank you very much. How are they getting a blue wrench by their username? By being here a lot and being very, very cool. The cool guy. Not that you're not cool, but they're just so cool. So cool. So cool. All right, let's celebrate. Stream keeps going until I've opened all my...
gun. Oh, this might be the last thing, actually. This one's... What, what have I bought? <laughs> Tom, what are you wasting your money on? Oh, it's just another... I... Why did I buy the other one? <laughs> This is a more hardcore, like, thing to help with the pull-ups, chat. This is like a proper, like... Hang it both sides. And you can put your knees on it. I don't know why I bothered buying the other one. This is like proper support. There's no way I can't do a pull-up with this thing, I'll tell you. If I can't do a pull-up with this thing, then that's a big, big problem. I've been off the exercise for a few days because I pulled my back plank squash on Sunday and it hurts to walk, but it's better today. It has been better today. So hopefully we can get working out again, get a bit stronger. Mail from you. Uh, if you work in a Chinese factory, mate, then yes. That's everything, actually. I need to do another order because... Uh, oh, no, 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 I have one more thing. I just noticed one more thing. I noticed one more thing. Anyway, we're going to do some mantle. <laughs> and then we're going to show my last thing. Chair. Resistor. Mail. What time of my life? It's just this time, but same two days before. Side. First. Ah, uh, Pat got hope first. Well done, Pat. Fun seeing what I ordered. Yeah, I'll, I'll save my mail. Nothing ordered for Sarah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, I should buy her gifts, but if I buy like cheap Chinese crap for Sarah, she's probably going to be unhappy. Force, Soviet. Resistor's not bad. Electric, but, oh, resistor spelled E-R, like someone who's resisting is better than the actual, like, Electricity or resistance. Soviets somehow close. Communism. Here we go. Capitalism. Uh, government. Politician. Communism. Communist. Commie. Revolution. Oh, here we go. They say you want a revolution, but well, you know, we all want to change the world. Rebellion. Revolution. Revolutionize. Revolutions. Dang. Independence. There's a good word, Rhonda. Ah. Invasion. Revolutionary. Yeah, there's there's a thought. Kenzie and mapping. Nice. Wow, that's a tough word. 24 is dang good. Noon Melbourne time, Wednesday and Friday. That's exactly right. So I try to just like relate the times with what the current time is because people get confused and then you got daylight savings and stuff and it's tricky. Anyway, chat, our last thing. Our last little thing from China is another coffee thing. It's sort of like a little filter mask you put on it. So when you're making an espresso and you put the porter filter in, the coffee's not actually meant to touch the water. So this sort of just guarantees that you'll, uh, you'll have distance between the two. And there you go, chat. That's Tom opens his mail stream. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the nonsense. I need to be more careful. Like this stuff, I actually was in was actually in two orders, uh, because I'm trying to all the stuff related to YouTube. I'm trying to buy separately so I can get my tax deduction. Speaking of which, I'm thinking of buying a MetaQuest three and then doing a video called. Tax Rod explained for kids, and it will be like a meta video where I buy the Meta Quest 3 and have it as a prop in the video as Tax Rod because I want it to be tax deductible. If that makes sense. 
Like the stream, everyone. Yeah, good idea. Did we do Time Guesser? We can do Time Guesser. That sounds fun. We're going to rush through it. Super quick chat. Super quick. VR streams, maybe. Oh. Wow, what is going on here? Is this like the Brooklyn Bridge? Looks like. Anyone recognize this place and time? Williamstown, Brooklyn. I reckon Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, and that's facing... I don't know which way that's facing. 60s or 70s? Uh, I think earlier, mate. This looks earlier. Look at what they're wearing. It is a cool shot. These are very cool people. Now you've got OH&S regulations. Ooh, I can't just hang from a bridge with my mates. 1920s? Yeah, I like it. Look for the World Trade Center. Uh, I don't think it's as old... I think if we're a bit before then, mate. I think I'm right about the bridge. Are we facing Brooklyn or Manhattan? Chat. Like, I know the buildings aren't very tall, but is that just because it's so long ago? Manhattan? I'm going to guess we're facing Manhattan, and it was just a long time ago that they didn't have buildings. Anyway, we're going to go 1926, chat. That side of the Brooklyn Bridge. 1914, even older. And we were the right side, but not quite there. Not bad. We lost a lot of points for the year, but the year was always going to be tough. You got Brooklyn Bridge as well and Mr. Decade. Similar to me then, Finn. Nice. Tiergarten. Sounds German. Skeetzer Street. Still sounds German. Die. That just sounds insulting. But die in German means the. So we're going to say... Oh. I'm sort of thinking like late 90s. Early 2000s? That's German for zoo? What is... Oh, Tiergarten is German for zoo. I mean, I guess we'll go Berlin, but... I don't really know. Like, it doesn't... I've been to a few places in Germany, and it doesn't sort of really scream Berlin to me. Like, this almost looks sort of southern Germany. Doesn't this look... A little bit, uh, uh, what do you call Southern Germany? Munich, uh, what's the word for Southern Germany stuff? You know, Lederhosen and, what are they, you know the word. You know the word, chat. Any cars? Yeah, good point. That does look early 2000s, doesn't it? Maybe it's a not quite as early as I think. After Hitler, that's a long period, mate. Maybe 2006. And we'll try Munich, I think. Twenty fifteen, wow, even you are. Oh, and it was southern Germany. Munich. Dang, I should have got that with the roof there. What do they call southern Germany? Oh, what's the word for it? Chat, why can't I think of this word? Southern Germany name. You know, the... Bavaria. That's the one, sir. I was gonna say, it looks... We... Well, I should have gone Munich, because that roof looked Bavarian. Oh, anyway, not great. But okay, we got Germany at least. Uh, Chocolate Land. She looks like she's from the subcontinent, so does he. Yeah, these all look subcontinent, don't they? Like India or Pakistan or Sri Lanka. A lot of kids. These buildings do not look Indian, though. Said Berlin, though. Was there Berlin in the in that uh, 
in the photo somewhere. My new t-shirt sleeves look a little bit short. Yeah, the short, the fit's okay. It was about seven bucks Australian, so like five bucks American. So I thought I'd test it out. Um, I won't buy more, but I will wear this. Pakistan? Could be. The buildings. We might be in Gaul. And you're wondering, Gaul, Tom, isn't that like Asterix? But no, not that Gaul, champions. I mean Sri Lanka. There's a little place in Sri Lanka. Is that it? Gaul, yeah, here we go. Uh, there's a little place in Sri Lanka that has uh, Dutch origins. And this sort of just reminds me of that. It's called Gaul, and it's sort of like a famous little t town. Tiny, but it's got a lot of, like, Dutch buildings. And I reckon I'm going to have a crack at this, because... It's very unlikely to be right, but if it's right, then I am a god, chat. I am an absolute god. No parking in English. Yeah, I mean, that looks like Sanskrit or... I don't know. Simple license plate. I don't know, chat. I'm saying Sri Lanka. Oh, Makornamara. No, wait. Isn't that on the Sri Lankan flag? What flag is that lion on? Is that Bangladesh? Does anyone recognize what flag that is? There's one of these countries has the flag and it's got the little lion with a knight. It is Sri Lanka? It is Sri Lanka? We're on chat, we're on. We are onto something here. I'm gonna go right there. Uh, maybe like 1980? 88? 88. 1970, you think, Pat? I'm gonna go 88. 83. Oh, we were near Colombo. Oh, wow. Okay. Colombo's sort of the, uh, the capital of Sri Lanka. But from these buildings, I did not get that. People in Sri Lanka joining a large queues to purchase basic household items at a government store. There you go, champions. Finland, you had no idea. Driving left. An Indian lady, an Ashcott Leyland bus, and street signs in English and bearing this Indian script. You can't place this. Good observation seeing the Sri Lankan dragon up. You missed it. Yeah, there was just something... There was something Sri Lankan about. Well done, uh, Zek, who knew that was Sri Lanka. We were gonna go Sri Lanka anyway. Don't eat raw flour, Kenzie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Um, Alright. This looks... European. I... You know, the famous country of Europe. Florida. I don't think we're in Florida, are we? Jardin Galleria? Tucumán? We are not in Florida. Where are we? Pharmacia? I guess that means pharmacy. Is this Spain? Is that how they speak in Spain? Not enough alligators to be Florida. And men without shirts who are, you know, attacking the gators with a two by four. Um, <laughs> apologies if you live in Florida, but that's my that's my interpretation of what Florida is like. Tucumán is in Mexico. Where did you see Tucumán? Poland. That's very different again. Oh, that's Argentina's flag, isn't it? Well, maybe we're all... Not even... No one so far has been even in the right continent if we're in Argentina. But they would speak Spanish. And this looks Spanish to me. So let's go Argentina. Um, where's Buenos Aires? There you are, champion. 
for a lack of any other idea. It could just be like an Argentinian festival in another country, though. That's Honduras? World boxing? You do have world in your name. That makes me want to believe you. I don't even know where Honduras is. Is that an island? Where is Honduras? Does anyone know where Honduras is? Central America. Ah. Nicaragua? Honduras. Alright. Well, maybe they're... We're in Honduras celebrating Honduric things. And it sort of yelled, scream in early 90s to me. Alright, sorry, that was my work computer beeping. It's fine, they don't need me right now. 2001, 92, I like 92. 89! We were in Argentina! Stars, mate. Stars. Mmm. Look at those two champions. Dang. Shoppers walking along Florida Street in Buenos Aires. Ah! 1989. We would have got a good score if we went Argentina. That's tough, though. Argentina flags. The language could be Spanish, but there's also a storefront with a weird script or maybe just a weird font. You went Argentina because you knew uh, no other place to guess. I almost did. I almost did. Am I changing the clocks in Australia? Uh, we just did, Pat, a few weeks ago, so... Unless America's changing clocks, it'll be consistent. Although the, the ch clock changes do not align between Australia and America. Alright, I think we're on that final round. Five of five. Uh, this looks like... Amsterdam. I think. Just outside the canals. Perhaps. That is Netherlands flag, isn't it? I think it might be. Where are you, Amsterdam? I think we're in Amsterdam. I'm gonna say we're sort of just outside these canals somewhere. Mark and Anno. Anno, I think, might be a Dutch word. Carton. They love their double A's. So I reckon we're on to a, a shot right here. When's the next shout out timeout? Yeah, I don't think we've had anyone ask for a shout out. I think someone. I think one of the mods might have actually made the word shout out a banned word so we don't even see it anymore. Which I didn't know they had the power of, but I noticed it in the banned words one day. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Looks like a Netherlands flag. Got a canal boat. Lots of canals over here. Yeah, let's just go right there. And what year are we? Binoculars, no phones. 98. Seventy four. Gosh, darn it. And we were in the outskirts of Netherlands. Volendam. Carton must be Dutch, the flag agrees. Your year was far off again. Sounds like we had very similar games, Finn. Very, very fin similar. So, does that mean that your times Americans are going to be better for this stream or worse? Because this stream's a bit late over there at the moment. Worm! Asking for the sh shout out timeout. Hasn't said a thing in stream, but decides that he. He wants to be timed out. You are timed out for 10 seconds. Worm. Welcome. Good to see ya. <laughs> Dismal 28402 for you. Oh, we've been barely better, mate. And there's a lot of us. There is a lot of us. Um, 
Yeah, I think I sort of didn't... The only one I really took from chat, I think, in this game was moving from Argentina to Honduras. So I think I did worse with your help, chat. <laughs> oh, well. Usually I do way better with chat's help, but... My victories, your losses. Good night, Kenzie. Good day. Thanks for joining. Good to see you, as always. Stream starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. Starts at 9 p.m. for you now. It's late. Oh, it's later again? Dang. We're getting really late, chat. Tom and late night solving champions. That's late. Uh, what are we going to do next? Let's do the waffle and the weekly. We're going to rush through this truth. No. The no. Oh, I don't know. Slope could be. Swole. I don't think that's a word. Annex? What's this X doing? Probably here. I don't know. I don't know. Your computer is in Kiribati, but you're actually in California. I don't understand. Is coffee bracket coming next? I think zero people would be interested in coffee bracket, Jason. Do you prefer a Kenyan bean or a Colombian bean? No one's interested in that, mate. What is this word? Terse? No. Oh, it's probably just like there, is it? Or it could be three. H is almost certainly second, though. Yeah. There, thy, the, uh, there. Nice. Okay. Dunce? I think it's going to be UNCS, isn't it? Punts? But I don't see how that works at all. Ounce! Ah, oh, tricky, tricky. The double vowel start. Good eye. Uh, it's got to be slope, surely. Oh, Exile. Yeah, that's it. And then we got swept. Dang, almost. Four. Not bad. Not bad. I'm 40 minutes before you have to watch Oranje's game. I don't know, not know what an Oranje is, but interesting. You'd be kind of interested in Coffee Bracket. We should bring back the brackets, chat. We should. Uh, this is Aerosol. Uh, this is Granite. Just gonna go fast. Ah! Oh. Dang it. We knew the L had to go in one of two spots and it was in the wrong one. Uh, this is Instill. And what is this? This L. Already. Wow, that's a tricky word. Can I see chat? No, Emma. I can't actually. Joe! Coming out with the word three. <laughs> You're like Matthew, Joe. You just sort of hang out in the shadows. And then you get annoyed at seeing me fail. And then you help. Um... All right, the four middle ones are always easier, and then we got to deal with the tricky outside four. This one's got two Y's in it. Hmm. Wow, this is tough today. Nui? Do we? Have we didn't have a Nui in the last game, did we? I think this one's going to end in ING. I'm going to risk it and just assume that's the case. Okay. Maybe like glaring. Could be a lot of things. Tracing. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Oh, it was middle down. Oh, okay. I obviously didn't need it for the soul, Ambrose. Um, gelatin? No. Gallery. Nice. Well done, Ambrose. 
That's where the second wire is going. I have a feeling we've wasted a lot of moves here because we haven't gotten a single sort of green green move. Uh, this R's got to be second, surely. Mm. Uh... Frailty? No. Dalty? I don't know. I think this ends in ER. Something. Uh, royalty! There's a good spot, mate. Alright. We should be able to... Dang, I'm down to five swaps already? <sighs> okay. Chaving? Is that a word? Charring. Charring has two R's, doesn't it? We... Mmm. Craving. Oh, nice. Okay. And then we have Charger to finish off. Dang! Isn't it amazing that you can make zero mistakes and still waste four swaps if you're not optimal? That's crazy, right? That's crazy. Crazy chat. Anyway, well done. We're going to play our final game, which will be Pie Mantle, because why not? Why not, chat? Pie Mantle. That's right. It's a mantle, but... Oh, there's a new button. Sort Gresses chronologically. 35 people have played this today. I'm 100. Thank you. I'm a little bit younger than that, but I appreciate it. Pie Mantle is probably like the worst, the hardest of all the Guess the Secret Word games. Although it does give us this like really cool 2D like vector way to get into the word. Scary is not bad. Nice, good, ugly, keen, happy, sad. Nice is the closest. Fine. True. When's the next Jackbox? Uh, we could bring back Jackbox at one point. I haven't done that in donkeys. We tried Jackbox 9 or whatever the new one was and it was just like filled with rubbish games. It's no good. I got a refund on it. Just like, oh, all these games are awful. Brother. Uh, go. Win. Stop. Nice is still the nicest. Nicer. Nicest. No. I meant to type nicest and I somehow typed a different word. Friend. Uh, kind. Kind. Charity. Charitable. Donate. This is Pie Mantle. Lol. We got Win over there. Nice and scary over there. Champion. Champ. Wonderful. That's a wonderful word. Hmm. Day, home, car, vacation, laptop, sign, steal, jail. Steal is almost as good. Take, sell. Fantastic. Fantasy. Just bad, good. Not quite getting in there, are we? Politics. Keyboard, music, song, winner, winner, chicken, dinner, gambler, bet. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have played this game. Window, award, economy, tail, tail, end, start, tail, follow. Money. Hit. Oh, that's a hit mapping. Wow. Okay. We're being violent again. A punch. <laughs> Dang. Good guess mapping. <laughs> we were a punch. 
Wait, let me see if I can line this up. One sec. This is important, chat. This is important. This is important. One sec. Wait, no, what? Wait. Ah, oh, it's not even covering me. One, one more, one more, one more. No, wrong one. That wasn't worth it. But thank you so much for watching, chat. Good to spend time with you as always. We'll be back in five days. Check out the new shorts on Silver Tom if you haven't, because we got our new editor in and they are absolutely fire. You're gonna, every short from now on is gonna be absolutely fire. Hopefully we can get our views back, but who knows? Who knows? Sub to Corporate Tom if you wanna see me use amazing props such as this bald cap like oh he doesn't have hair look at him how realistic how realistic the human condom anyway chat thanks all for joining <laughs> happy birthday to you on sunday i see all good fun spending time with you and we'll be back in five days you have so many shorts to catch up on i need to start responding to shorts comments again i got I'll just tell you quickly, chat. I used to respond to every single comment, and then that got too much, so I started to at least read and like every single comment, and then that got too much. And I still was reading every single comment, and then that got too much, and I just burnt out and stopped. And now I feel bad, because... Sometimes when views are down, it sort of puts you... Sort of makes it harder to get motivated to do content. It's like, oh, what's the point? It doesn't make me any money, and... People aren't going to watch it, but then reading comments and seeing all the nice comments does make it a lot better. So I should do that. Uh, although, if you want to see, if you want to see the worst of humanity chat, check out my Ukraine versus Russia video and sort by newest comments. Every comment is a hate comment. My God. Oh, they're cruel. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I do have a life out of YouTube and shorts, but I do appreciate you all. And uh, these always bring me a lot of joy, these streams. Did I see your new videos? I haven't, Kenzie, but I'll try to remember to check them out. Anyway, chat, that's enough nonsense. I'll see you all in five days. And uh, we'll have more fun then. Bye for now, champions. <laughs>